Hi, my name is Eugenia Gelbelman. Uh, I'm the writer, director, producer of The White Goddess. Um, and hello to the 10th Indian Cine Film Fest. It really is an honor that you have my film at your festival. I really, it means a lot to me. Um, so I have some other projects that I want to get off the ground in the next few years, if it's at all possible. Um, I have, I'd say, three, three main projects that I have lined up. Um, I don't want, I don't want to make this too long, so I'll try to go through it briefly. Um, one of them is a coming of age story, and it's about a young Russian woman and her Soviet immigrant father uh, living in Brooklyn, New York. It's a little bit autobiographical. Um, and if anyone's ever seen Moscow on the Hudson um, or The Namesake by Mira Nair, uh, it's sort of in the same vein as those films, as in it's very... Uh, it's about a family over time, like an immigrant first generation child and their immigrant parents and looking at them over time. The namesake was a huge inspiration for this film, except this time instead of being immigrants from India, they're immigrants from the Soviet Union. <laughs> um, and Moscow on the Hudson, because I don't think there's been really a movie looking at just normal Russian people living in America in a long time. <laughs> so, uh, I'd really like to get, it's called Daddy's Girl. That's, that's the working title. Uh, there's, there's a little concept film I made for it. And if you email me, I can send you the concept film. Uh, starring Gera Sandler, who played the father, uh, one of the main roles in Unorthodox. Um on Netflix, that Israeli show that won a lot of, I think, Golden Globes and Emmys. So he plays my dad in this little short that I made. But he wouldn't, I, I mean, so for this project, basically, I'm looking to make it for about $250,000, just a low budget, you know, ultra low budget film, not micro budget, but ultra low budget. Try to shoot it mo mostly in New York, although there are some scenes that happen in Ukraine, but obviously that is not possible <laughs> right now. And there are some scenes that also are supposed to happen in Israel, but I can always fake that in America. Um, so there's Daddy's Girl, that's my coming of age story, family drama, and then there's. Um, Disregard the Stranger, which is an erotic thriller in the vein of movies like Basic Instinct and um, Dress to Kill. It's very much inspired by Brian De Palma movies um, and Paul Verhoeven. Uh, and just that whole genre in the 90s of the erotic thriller that was really popular and then sort of went away for some reason. But, you know, William Friedkin made a few. Uh, Jade, uh, Verhoeven, De Palma. Um, my favorite, of course, of that whole genre is Basic Instinct. Uh, and so, yeah, this is called Disregard the Stranger. Uh, and it's about an... Um, a femme fatale and an homme fatale. <laughs> the man and the woman are both fatal. <laughs> but it's about a marriage where a woman thinks she marries one person and a man thinks he marries one person and actually they marry someone completely different from who they thought they married. And it's that discovery of who actually are these people. Um, that's the basis of that script. Um, that one is, would be a little more expensive in my mind than, um, daddy's girl, which I think I could make for about 250,000 us. Uh, this one I think would be at least 2 million, two to $6 million project, which, um, you know, 
I want to get a name actor and actress for the two roles. Um, so that that's going to be a little, that's a bit, that's a, that's an ask, but that's a project I want to make. And then the other one that I'm writing currently is that I'm finishing is a road movie in the tradition of American seventies road films. Uh, Badland, Badlands and the Terrence Malick film and um, Scarecrow which is a movie with Al Pacino and Gene Hackman uh, and The Rain People which is an early Francis Ford Coppola movie um, yeah a little bit Bonnie and Clyde too but it's yeah two people get on the road together a man and an older man and a younger woman and they're both sort of escaping something or trying to find something and uh, they're trying to find an America and a dream that no longer exists in in the current day. So it's sort of a nostalgia trip, um, and it ends badly for both of them. And right now, there's the working title is the Farewell Tour, um, and I'm looking to cast Mark Marin for the lead in that. I kind of wrote it for him as the main main guy um so those are, the, those are the three big ones there's a few other ones there's a um pilot i wrote for a tv show about a young woman who starts doing burlesque <laughs> and then there's another one uh that's an adaptation of a trilogy by stephen drachman uh the adventures of wado hugh and i'm writing the first adaptation of the first book in the trilogy so those are all the projects um i'm looking for someone who is interested in making anything with me based on if you like the white goddess and you think i can make another feature film that's what i'd like to do you know so i'm looking for maybe a co a producer i'm looking for a producer uh a financier <laughs> any of those things would be wonderful um so yeah, I mean, I think those movies would be popular. I mean, if I got one or two name actors in any of them, like Daddy's Girl, I'd really like to have Liev Schreiber play the father. He hasn't had a really great role in a while, so that's who I'm envisioning for that film. And I've had some interest in it, but it's been a little bit hard going. So anyway, I don't want to make this too long. This is already too long. Again, thank you so much to the Indian Cine Film Fest for having my film and letting me participate. It means so much to me. Thank you. Bye.